the case of Xbox is very interesting. Historically, there's always been very little interest in Xbox emulation, given the fact that most of the games you'd want to play on Xbox are also on PC. And while Microsoft nowadays publishes most of their titles on PC as well, there are some Xbox exclusives that some people want to play on PC. But the question is, can you play them on Steam Deck? If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. As you may have noticed, I am now affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. On the Xbox and the Xbox 360, there's always been a historical lack of interest in emulating these devices. And to this day, that still holds kind of true. Xbox emulation is still far behind, say, the likes of PS2 and GameCube emulation, but it's definitely starting to come around quite nicely. There is one Xbox emulator available on Linux that I can think of, called Zemu, spelt X-E-M-U. Its compatibility rating is about 60% of the Xbox library. It doesn't sound like that much, but we'll get into that much later in the video. I was tempted to ask the Fox to see if it worked on the Steam Deck, but the Fox isn't showing off any emulation because Valve won't let him. So I asked the next best person, the Turk. The Turk has a really accurate hack and deck that almost approximates the performance of the Steam Deck, give or take maybe. If it works on his hack and deck, then in theory it probably should work on the Steam Deck. And this is him trying out Crazy Taxi. This footage tells me everything I need to know. Zebu seems to run pretty well. According to the Turk, he ran this at 1 times UI scale and 6 times render scale. There are some lag spikes and usually it hangs around 55 FPS as opposed to 60 FPS. I'm willing to chalk this up to a lack of optimization due to, you know, the lack of development time. Of course, the main issue is that there needs to be a ton of compatibility work done. If given enough development time and attention, this particular emulator could be the Dolphin of the Xbox or the PC SX2 of the Xbox. You know, it could be just the definitive Xbox emulator, because it kind of already is currently. Now we move on to the Xbox 360. There is one major emulator for the Xbox 360, and it's called Xenia. Xenia officially only has Windows builds. Official Linux builds don't currently exist, however, you can look into the source code and compile it yourself for Linux. The problem is that, simply put, Linux doesn't use DirectX 12, and Vulkan support is extremely experimental at the moment, so it doesn't perform well on Linux. Hell, it doesn't even perform that well on Windows either, not without a really powerful CPU, and the Steam Deck CPU probably just can't handle it. I'm going to make a huge speculation here and I'm going to say that about 75% of it is probably just optimization issues. Due to a lack of interest in the Xbox 360 scene, they can't get nearly as much work done on it as well as say, a more popular emulator for a more popular system. For whatever reason, Xbox and Xbox 360 emulation just doesn't get enough attention. There are plenty of people that are more versed in emulation history than I am, like modern vintage gamer. He probably has a few videos on the Xbox, so I'd probably just watch his channel for some Xbox emulation history instead. But I'm guessing you guys want to hear why I think there's not enough love in the Xbox and the Xbox 360 emulation scenes. My personal guess is that, simply put, a lot of the biggest games that you'd want to play on Xboxes are available on PC, especially the Halo series. Like Halo 1 and 2 were on PC for quite some time. Granted, they're not great ports, but they're ports nonetheless. Xbox 360 emulation had some momentum, but only because PC players couldn't finish the fight in Halo 3. But now that they can finish the fight on PC, the release of the Master Chief Collection on PC might have taken the wind out of 360 emulation. You know, kind of like how Persona 4 Golden on PC kind of took the wind out of Vita emulation. And I think I understand that sentiment. I mean, why wait for an emulator when you can play Halo 3 on PC today? And this brings us to our next topic, Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X. 
the truth is that there's not a whole lot of Xbox exclusives on the Xbox One that people are really clamoring to play. So I'm not expecting an Xbox One emulator anytime soon. And besides, Microsoft made that mandate that they would start publishing games on PC from now on. And Microsoft has made pretty good on those promises. A lot of Xbox games are on Steam. Even big titles such as Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite are on PC. Same release date as consoles. About like 10 years ago you would have never imagined something like that, yet here we are. And there's Game Pass as well. Game Pass unfortunately does not work on Linux, so it's not worth talking about in its own separate video until I get my own Steam Deck. And yes, it will accompany a tutorial on how to install Windows on your Steam Deck. So a Game Pass video is not going to happen until after release. By then, some of you will probably already have tried it. 